here we have a Dell Latitude E6440 we're going to open up and explore the inside right, to put your laptop on something soft so you don't damage it or scratch it when you move it around and we're going to need to flip to the back to begin so now we're at the back first you're going to need to remove your battery if you haven't removed it yet there's two types of battery, a normal one and extended one and there's a DVD drive here there's a button here for you to remove the DVD drive you don't need to take out any screws to remove it so here's the button there's two screws holding your hard drive cover down to remove your hard drive <laughs> So now that we remove the screws, you just drag it out and it comes off. This is a 2.5 inch hard drive. And that's basically your only hard drive slot inside it. Now we're going to remove the back cover. There's two screws holding the back cover down. After you've removed the two screws holding the hard drive down. So after you remove the two screws, there's a tab opening or area for you to hold underneath the battery slot here where my thumb is where my hand is so just lift this part up just put a bit of force in it just lift it straight up and it comes off remember to take out your SD card if you have not taken it out as it gets in the way So there's your BIOS battery, wireless card, RAM, CPU, fan. So we're going to take out the RAM. There's two RAM slots. So that's maximum of 16 gigs, 8 gigs in each slot. And you need to push the two sides open and the RAM pops up to remove it. Next we're going to remove the wireless card. Remember to remove your wireless antenna cables first before you remove it. There's one screw holding it down. So after you remove the screw, it pops up. Then just take it out. I'm just going to show you. There's another slot here. This is for your mobile 3G, 4G card. Just to show you, you can put the wireless card in any slot or the vice versa, put the mobile, mobile wireless card in any spot as well I'm just going to put it in to show you that it fits and I'm just going to take it out again so now we're going to remove the CPU and the fan, the heatsink. So there's four screws holding the CPU, CPU heatsink down, and there's two screws on the fan that we need to remove to remove the heatsink. These screws come off. Generally, these screws actually don't come off other laptops, but for some reason, Dell has made this one come off. So it's a bit odd. So there's two screws on the fan as well that we have to remove. The CPU can be changed. So after we remove the two screws, we need to take off the power cable. And then it just comes off. when you remove it you need to remove the old thermal paste and replace it with new thermal paste so I'm just going to get my cloth and go clean it
So you don't need a special liquids or alcohol or solution to clean it. Just use your cloth and wipe off the thermal paste. If the thermal paste is too hard, just rub it a bit and it'll come off. Just try your best to remove the most as possible as you can and that should be enough. So the thermal paste on my heating is a bit hard, so with this I did use methylene spirits to try to remove it, but generally it should just come off pretty easily. So now we're going to remove the CPU. You're going to need a Torx screwdriver to remove it, I believe it's T6. So you need to turn the screw anti-clockwise, half a circle, to remove the CPU. After you turn it, you just lift up the CPU and it comes off. So the CPU is replaceable, clearly, as we can take it off. There's a triangle here, just to show you. It's the direction it goes in. The, the triangle goes in the bottom left-hand corner from the way you're watching it now. This is actually the best CPU you can get, not the one I have, so there's actually no point of removing and replacing it. So now that we we're gonna replace we're gonna remove the fan from the heating to clean it. There's sticky tape here. The black thing is sticky tape. You can put it aside, even in a clean place so you can stick it back as there's screws underneath it for us to remove. So there's four screws holding it down. So now we remove the screws, there's sticky tape holding it down, the power cable for the fan is held down by black sticky tape, so you're going to have to remove it. So after you remove it, the fan comes off relatively really easy. There's sticky tape here too, I'm not going to remove it as I don't have to, as my fan is actually clean, but just to show you that, how to remove it. As you look at here, the fan grill. It doesn't look dirty. And look at my fan, it has no dust on it. I'm just going to place the screws back in. So now we're going to replace the thermal paste. I'm using Noctor NTH1. Don't be cheap on your thermal paste. This only costs $10 and you don't use it once in your life and it's extremely important. So for your CPU, you want to put one rice grain size of thermal paste in the center, don't spread it out. It's important if you don't spread it out, that's when you put the heatsink on it, it'll spread it out automatically. There's numbers on the heatsink, which I'm going to point out now. It tells you which screw to hold it, the screw in first. So here's this one, two, three, and four. Try to screw it in the same or in order as it's important. 
Remember to align it first before you start pushing it down. And once you have it aligned, push it down. Also remember to plug in your fan cable too, as if you don't plug it back in, your fan's not going to spin and your CPU is going to die. I'm just going to screw everything back in and put it back. That's about it. Thanks for watching. This disassembly is relatively really easy as this is called the Latitude series and the purpose of it is to be easily to be removed, upgrade, changed and fix. So there's nothing that really can go wrong if you follow this and it's pretty basic and it has user manuals for you to help you open it up and disassemble the laptop correctly as it's the Latitude series. Thanks for watching.